Hello, my name is Ambrose. Here in my hand is a wood scorpion. They're also commonly called forest scorpions. Let's have a look at this small but cute creature. There are six species of wood scorpions in Australia and this is one of them. Now there's something really cool about all scorpions that I want to show you, so stick around later and you can find out. These wood scorpions are quite robust and small. From their head to the tip of their tail, they're usually 25 to 50 millimetres. They're usually a dark reddish brown colour with a shiny exoskeleton and a rather thick tail. Like all scorpions, on the tip of their tail is a stinger. Scorpions use their stinger to inject venom into their prey to paralyse it so they can eat it without a fuss. Scorpions capture their prey using pedipalps. There are pincers at the end of its pedipalps that help the scorpion hold on to its prey. Once captured, the scorpion stings its prey to paralyse it before feeding. These scorpions are very small, so they feed on termites or insect larvae. Feeding is a very slow process for scorpions. Wood scorpions are generally solitary, but in the mating season, the males do look for females to mate with. The males use their pectines as chemoreceptors to recognise and follow the female's pheromones. Once the male has followed the pheromones and located the female, he has to be careful because the females are usually larger than the males and she might attack him and even eat him. The females give birth so 20 to 35 young at a time. When the scorpions are born, they're white and soft bodied. It will take about two weeks for their exoskeletons to form. The mother scorpion carries her baby scorpions on her back for two to three weeks before they're large enough to fend for themselves. Scorpions grow by molting their exoskeleton. During the molting process, the hard exoskeleton splits, revealing a soft, pale exoskeleton underneath. They often molt at a safe place at night because during the molting process, they are very vulnerable and cannot protect themselves. Wood scorpions live for about three years. They live under tree bark, rocks and logs, and often retreat to their underground burrow in summer because they prefer a moist habitat. Now finally, there's something really cool about scorpions that I want to show you. When you shine an ultraviolet light on them at night, they will glow. It's very cool. But if the scorpion has recently molted, the exoskeleton will not glow until it is hardened. Now something very interesting is that the scorpion's exoskeleton has a fluorescent compound that seems to have antifungal and antiparasitic properties that could help to protect these little arachnids. It is amazing. Well, I better say goodbye. Thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe and you can join me on our next adventure. Bye. Look at it, so cute.